Protein. To grow big, strong muscles, you need... This is uncomfortable. I'm getting out of this shit. Got to show up the actual muscles for this one. <coughs> to get big and strong muscles, you need lots of protein in your diet and nothing else. How are you going to get all that protein? Beans? No. Eggs? Think of the cholesterol. Chicken? What'd you just call me? Cereal, of course. Normally, cereal is filled with a bunch of tasty sugar, but there are lots of cereal out there that have low amounts of sugar and high amounts of protein. It's basically healthy. Yeah, I have no idea if these things are healthy or not. Uh, do not take nutrition advice from me. I'm just here to tell you if shit tastes good. And I bought 11 boxes of that stuff. I'm going to be set on breakfast for a while. Uh, my family refuses to touch anything I buy for these videos. Uh, let's get started, I guess. Mouth Off is a brand. I've only been able to find two flavors of this stuff. Uh, they got fruity and they got chocolate. This one was on sale. Still got a bunch of this milk left over from the last video. Uh, go check it out. Like right now. I can wait. I'll still be here. I'm just a video. This was filmed in the past. Check out the fruity one. Not bad. Smells good. I mean, not bad actually. Like this stuff is 100% plant based. What was it? Yeah, 100% plant based. It's got no sugar in it, got some fiber. Eight grams of fat. I mean, I guess that's the price you pay. Whatever. It's not the worst thing ever. It's pretty solid so far. Um, as far as taste goes, I give this 8 out of 10. Good. I need chocolate. See if this one's better. Smells good. A little something extra. Alright, okay. I mean, you can definitely tell this is off. If you were to, like, give somebody a different chocolate cereal, like Cocoa, was it Cocoa Puffs or Cocoa Krispies, you definitely be able to notice that there's something different here, something a little, little diet, a little sugar-free about it. But overall, it's not a bad flavor, you know? I will say I like the fruity one better, but this one isn't a bad choice either. I could definitely eat this as a box, as a whole deal. But for the price, uh, for the price of $10 a box, there's only five because it was on sale. Uh, I don't think I would buy this too often, but just basing it off taste, not bad. You know, 7 out of 10. Okay. I gotta pour myself less of this stuff. Um, I've got nine other boxes to go through. Um, I'm gonna fill up fast. I'm just gonna take a couple bites and pour the rest of the remainders in like a cup here. Premier Protein. Uh, this is actually a pretty cheap protein bar on its own. It's something I used to go to when I was younger. And they made a cereal about it, too. Not bad. 20 grams of protein. I mess with it. Let's see if it tastes good. Fucking almost tore apart the box there. All right. This one actually has little bits of strawberry in that. I like that. I like the little dried fruit in, in my cereal. All right. That's more than I wanted to pour. Oh, yeah. This is the mixed berry almond. I didn't say the flavor. Got a little too excited, I guess. Some big old flakes. The flakes definitely look off. They look a little, uh, little pasty, little clay-like, little plastic, but we'll, we'll see. I mean, I don't know what to compare that to. It's crunchy. It's not inoffensive on the flavor. 
But so far, I will say that the, uh, what is it, the mouth off cereals, they taste a little better. This isn't a terrible choice. See how these, how these berries are. I mean, yeah, they're the same berry you're getting or else. I don't know why I expected. It's not bad, though. Okay. But I would give that a, you know, a 7 out of 10. It's fine. Adding to the stew, hot, like chocolate almond. I keep pouring too much. I don't know why I'm doing this to myself. Alright, the chocolate one is automatically uh, a little bit better. A little bit better. The flakes are very crispy. Like they were air fried or something? I don't know. But they're not like your common crisp like you get from like a frosted flake. They're, they're very... Make a, lot, make a lot of noise in the mouth. You hear that? My bad. It's a cheap box of cereal, too. I think it was like six bucks when I got them. So these aren't bad options if you just want, like, more protein in the morning, but you don't want to eat eggs and bacon and chicken or whatever. A single flavor of this one is, like, Dream Wonderworks keto-friendly cereal, peanut butter. Got 19 grams of protein, though. Okay. I like peanut butter. It passes the smell test. A little off, but it passes. Mm. I know. I thought that would be really hard, given that there's like a health cereal or whatever, or healthy-ish, low, low sugar and stuff. Yeah, one, one gram of sugar. It's not bad though. I mean, it's not like your your Reese's Puffs types. Little little something different there, but um, it's not bad though. It's probably it's definitely the worst one I've had so far. I would say it's almost a seven, but I'm not gonna do like six point nine or whatever. So I'll just do six. It's it's a six out of ten. It's it, eh, it's the worst so far. It's not terrible. Ghost cereal. They make more than uh, energy drinks. I used to drink those buggers all the time, like once a day or something when I was at work. But then one day I noticed I was starting to get winded just going up the stairs. Haha, -ha, he's kidding. He's just telling a joke a little bit. He's trying to make us worry for nothing. It's just a bit. Sure. Okay. Hey, yo, I'm not gonna lie. Um, this is, a, this is kind of a hot take from the cereal. I do not care for cereal marshmallows. Uh, I feel like they taste like styrofoam and they make my teeth feel bad. So I've never, I've never liked them, even as a kid. Let's see if these marshmallow ones are any better. Let's see, let's get, let's get a big old bite of those marshmallows as much as I can in one deal. Okay. I mean, it's not bad. Hold on. So, I don't know. It's weird. I haven't had any bad protein cereal so far. None of these have tasted bad. But, you know, them marshmallows on their own, just styrofoam. It's a chill food world. Feel weird, weird, weird. Like putting nails on a chalkboard. That's how it feels, but, like, against my teeth. Uh, but as long as you don't get those marshmallows by themselves in a cluster, you're fine. Again, it's weird that I can't give a bad one to any of these so far. I gotta say, I don't know. Yeah, 7 out of 10. It's not amazing, but it's okay. It's okay. I could eat more of this. Peanut butter. Always a winner. If I was younger, I'd probably say something like peanut butter these nuts or whatever. 
edit that bit out. Edit. Hmm. Well, yeah, it's peanut butter, but there's something a little behind it. Something about the texture of this one in particular. There's something off about it. I could eat more of this if it's there in front of me, but I probably wouldn't buy this box again. It is a 6 out of 10 at best. And, I, and I'm being generous. It's a 6 out of 10. It's like barely the worst one so far. Mm. Magic spoon. You've probably seen this around in your stores or whatever. Um, I bought four flavors today. Got the peanut butter, the fruity, the cinnamon roll, and the cocoa. And I thought, hey, that's probably all they got. I can't believe I'm about to figure out the taste, you know, taste the whole collection. No. There was at least four other flavors when I happened to be at a Target looking for some random groceries. Um, and there's seasonal ones too. And these suckers are like $10 a box. So I had to look at myself in my empty wallet and say no more. So that's, that's it. We're getting four. Good enough, okay? Start with the cocoa. That bag's a little weird. That's all they give you? Like the box, I'm sorry, the box? I feel like this is an uncommon thing we all know, but like the box itself, if you're like looking at the cereal, this is all you get out of that box where my fingers are. I don't like that so far. That's a bad start right there. It smells good though. Good enough at least. Mm. It's grain free, so if you gluten free people enjoy that, hey, there you go. Not not a bad option, I guess. But uh, the chocolate has a little something off about it. It's not a terrible cereal, though. I've seen some reviews saying this cereal is bad so far. And I'm, I'm not seeing it yet, but I'm only one cereal in. So, you know, I could be very wrong. But this cocoa one itself, I don't know. I'd say it's a 7 out of 10. I could eat more of this. 7 out of 10. My little cup is getting kind of full here. I'll need another one here in a sec. All right, peanut butter. So far, the peanut butter ones have not had a great tracker record so far. And that's weird, because I feel like peanut butter is kind of hard to mess up. But they've been the worst so far. Again, what is it with the peanut butter cereals? This one kind of sucks. Like, it's first off, the peanut butter is not strong enough. The cereal feels like it is just filled with air. It's very, like, it's not a satisfying crunch in your mouth. I don't know. It's, it's a little off to me. I would not buy this specific. If I'm buying, like, a peanut butter cereal that I want protein with, I'm probably going to, I would buy either the Ghost or that Keto one before this one. A 5 out of 10. Easily the worst one so far. But I would not say it's putrid. Just, uh, there are definitely better options if you want, like, a protein-filled peanut butter cereal. Especially when the protein here is only 14 grams, you know? There's better ones out there. Got fruity. Fruity cereals haven't done me bad so far. How many have we had? Oh, well, to be fair, we've only had like one other one, but that one was, no, two others. No, it's not bad, you know? Ooh, I like the colors. Very, it's a very Superman ice cream. Dude, fruity, fruity cereals always smell the best. Like, I'm not even a big fruity cereal fan, but this, this video is making me realize that, like, I love the smell of a fruity cereal. Mm. Not bad. But again, um, but again, I think I'd rather go for something more like ghost. 
or even the mouth actually it's probably more or less equal to mouth up but i'd probably go for ghost over this it's not bad i don't hate this i haven't had a good time eating i'm having a good enough time eating it hey seven out of ten you know okay last cereal this video might be a little short i don't know all right cinnamon roll here's the last one yep last one let's give it a shot i haven't had any cinnamon ones so far Got your standard fruity, cocoa, peanut butter. No cinnamon yet. It's a little different. Mmm. That was good. Oh. It's a little tasteless. I don't know. It's like... The cinnamon's not there enough. It's like, it's like, it's, it doesn't show up to the very end of your bite when it's going down. It's like, oh yeah, here's a cinnamon showing up late to the party. <sighs> it's okay. It's okay at best. I would have to give this a, I'd give this a five out of, no, six, uh, I'd give it a five out of ten. Five out of ten is fine. It's, eh, I don't know. Nah, six. It deserves a six. It's not terrible. Just... I don't know. A little disappointing. I like cinnamon flavored cereals, but this just, uh, not enough. Something missing in the flavor department. We have Magic Spoon. I don't know. Kind of let me down there. I'm glad I didn't buy four additional boxes. This was probably the worst uh, brand of well, all the ones I've had today. You know? Not terrible, but not amazing. You know, I'd rather go elsewhere, especially since there's more protein in the other cereals. I mean, overall, protein cereals aren't that bad, you know. I've seen some reviews saying they, they suck, especially Magic Spoon. I've seen some reviews about Magic Spoon and Mouth Off saying they taste terrible. It just tastes like straight, bland, flavorless protein powder, and it's just as dry. It tastes like sawdusty and horrible flavor. But they're, they're not too bad, and it's not like I have a lot of healthy protein-based cereals anyway, so... Comparing to like the, the the original ones that have all the sugar and you know, the protein in it, it's it's an okay comparison. I'd say you can go for that. It's just the price that's going to kind of kick you in the ass. A lot of those boxes are ten dollars a piece, and you'll probably get like maybe four bowls out of it, three maybe. I don't know. But yeah, that's just my opinion on it. You know, grab your own box, taste it, and try it for yourself to see if you like it. Especially if you want some good protein in the morning. And that's not a suggestion. Buy and try your own cereal, or I will shoot the dog. Watch as the dog begs for its life in fear. Kinda, kinda don't give a shit, do you? Yes, I am growing stronger. Yes, yes, I am growing very strong. My muscles.